Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. The door was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way. open, okay? As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat.
I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. You out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. side of the field we're almost there this farm is a crazy place for crazy people we should feel right at home then come on one more game 
Are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. I think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome! Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be, what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right, must be. Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah, what the hell. You're a crazy bastard. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. 
We're gonna make it up here.